Perfecto. What did you just call me? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's M. Honcho shooting outside the box with heat. <laughs> Fly as hell. I think I'm misunderstood when it comes to my style. People can't pinpoint what I'm wearing, which is a good thing because uh, I want to be a gatekeeper for these things. So my style is, it, it varies from Stussy to Rick Owens to Raph Simmons to Mike Amiri to Louis Vuitton to, do you know what I mean? It just depends on the day. I have a fit for home, which is literally nothing but shorts and a t-shirt. Nike shorts, no socks, home slippers, and a plain t-shirt. That's all I do at home. The moment I know that I'm going somewhere, that's when I take about an hour and a half to get ready. I don't even know why. Uh, who's, what, or do you just call me? <laughs> when I get dressed or how I base my style, it's mainly to do with the occasion. And at the same time, I like to stand out while still being stood in. If you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, standing out is something I should put in my CV. Slap it on Indeed, because I swear to God, anywhere I go, I'm stood out. I can wear anything. Um, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> so um, I guess the style is really in the mask. Majority of it anyway. The first ever um, freestyle that I dropped was a viral moment for me. Back then, I didn't have anything to separate myself. Like in terms of, I was just wearing a balaclava. I didn't have a brand, I didn't have a mask, I didn't have an identity as, um, as much as I do now and what I've built. And you know, viewers are clicking onto the video and they're just seeing this big guy wearing a balaclava. Who would have thought he just starts singing? <laughs> do you know what I mean? So it was, it just, they expected it to go right and it just goes left, but it's still right. I smoke a lot of weed. I would say also there's other artists out there that inspire me as well, but more as an artist that make art. And just people and individuals and how hard they work, that's the kind of stuff that inspires me. A friend of mine, Sloan, um, who is a lovely guy, I've got a lot of love for him, he inspires me. Lucian Clark, he inspires me. When I look at people like Daniel Arsham, he inspires me. Talking to these people and just finding out their mind frame and just seeing how hard they work on you know on a day-to-day -day basis it makes me want to just go get it when it comes down to the actual music and the content it's just based on life and real life experiences but the inspiration definitely comes from individuals that are hard working that i look up that i look at and i and i just you know get a great feeling from and i feel really inspired just watching them do what they do best um, and they're not even in the same field as me Uh, I'll tell you Nas, Illmatic is in my top five albums of all time, just because of its rawness and, and how real it is, um, especially how real it is to him from where he comes from. Um, and I've always seen New York as London on steroids. So uh, we're just a little New York and, and, and a lot of our experiences are very similar. So yeah, I'd definitely say Nas. The chances of someone making it in music and, you know, carrying on to building a core fan base and you know doing shows and becoming more and more successful uh, it's, it's very slim especially for you know if you're coming from the type of places that we come from so um i guess it's been a pinch me moment from the start you know when you just get up too quickly and you're like i've been like that since the first song i dropped <laughs> low on iron i'm currently on a diet but yeah i'm so sad about it but uh my favorite snack in the studio in most recent times it's been, um, I don't know if you've seen it, but like Ferrero Rocher does these like eggs, these Easter eggs, like they're like small, they come in like a pack. The pack is two pound 50 and there's like 10 in there. Joke thing, but mental, absolutely mind boggling. They're around all year round, all year round. Trust me, I've done my research. I've been about this life, but my all time favorite snack at the time, like even years ago, it used to be Milky Way, crispy roll. They got discontinued. I'm about to shut down. They, they discontinued the one that I like from Milky Way. Like they actually like wafer rolls. 
and, and they just discontinued it. Like, bro, like, people got feelings. Like, people get hurt by shit like this. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I am, I am buying Jeff Bezos' Milky Way, isn't it? That's all I'm gonna say. Back then to us, designer was Nike. Like, like from the ends, like if we bought Nike, we saw that as like, yo, Nike to us was like buying Louis or buying Gucci. For a lot of us, our first designer purchase was always a pouch, like some sort of accessory. Like it always started from a belt or a pouch and then it moved on. It was definitely like a Gucci or something like a Gucci pouch. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry to be so like mediocre and stuff, but like, you know, I'm, I'm born in 1993. Like that's what we bought. Gucci pouches were lit. Anything cactus plant flea market, love them. Anything cause and I'll put in anything, anything, anything vintage stussy. Cause they ain't me. I'm too cool for school, dude. <laughs> when someone wears Nike and Adidas or Nike and a conflicting fashion brand that they have beef with, no chance. Like I can't go wear a Nike t-shirt or Nike shorts and wear Adidas socks. Like I will die like inside second by second. Yeah. If I wear like just say the outfit I'm wearing today, like I wouldn't wear Nike socks. Do you know? I wear I wear Kith socks with it. Like do you know what I'm trying to say? Like socks. Sock game is like super important for me. I feel like you should have a great collection of socks. Like I have unlimited socks, unlimited. Like I think I've got like, what, 200 pairs? Maybe 200 pairs of socks. Goes with the 200 pairs of shoes though. So do you know what I mean? Good stuff. Wait to die. I will actually just wait to die. I'll just play some NBA. Tell my brethren's yo, come over man. Let's have a few spliffs. I'll probably do the same thing that I said. <laughs> I'll just be at home, playing some Harry Potter or something. Oh, I finished it. Gangsta. Gangsta. <laughs> Go on, tell her, is it good? Yeah, now you're feeling me. I've grown up here. Yeah? Cool, say nothing. that. That's the type of person that he thinks he's better than everyone because he, because he doesn't do what we do because we're like, you know, we're peasants. Yeah? All right, cool. Cool. All of them. I'm gonna make sure my children watch Harry Potter. Who's your favorite character? I'll say Draco Malfoy, man. He's a, actually my favorite character is Voldemort. My brother, that's Brogard. That's Brody, that's Crody. He's from Toronto. Voldemort's from Toronto. <laughs> Obviously this, I've got some friends who like Cedric Dig Diggory and the man there from Hufflepuff. I don't really fuck with C Cedric, Cedric Diggory like. Who's the hot one? I don't know who's hot. <laughs> they think Cedric Diggory's hot. I what? Hufflepuff is moist. Hufflepuff is soft. Like I don't that they should just ban Hufflepuff. I'd be anything but Hufflepuff. I swear to God, I actually don't mind. Who would actually go for Hufflepuff? Would you do you want to be Hufflepuff? What about you, bro? Exactly. That's dead. Cedric. I don't want to be Bridgens with Cedric. I want to link like Harry and them man there. You get me? Like all the Weasley brothers and that. You get me? I say fashion, designing clothes. I would love to design clothes. I've got, you know, a lot of concepts and a lot of ideas written down in my notes about how I would approach, you know, different art projects and stuff. And yeah, this comes off the back of being inspired by, you know, friends and, and people that are in art. My family, they motivate me. My team, they motivate me. I think we all understand the concept of team achievement. Um, as opposed to individual success. This life gets, you know, chock a block sometimes. So, um, yeah, it's good to have the motivation from my, from my peers, my team, and my family. The only talent I got is not even the talent. Like, every step I take, my foot clicks. So everyone knows it's me in my house. So I'll be walking, it just goes like I'm wearing high heels, and I can do this. <laughs> no one can do that. Look at that. Look at that. He can do this. Call me when you can, innit? <laughs> so 2023, so far, I've been super happy. I've just come across into independency. All I'm gonna say is, that's scary for everyone. Cause M. Honcho independent is like, it's literally like taking the muzzle off a of a pit bull. 2023, there's gonna be a 
whole lot of action. You dig? Moncler, it kind of goes with their whole skiing and you know what I'm trying to say, like. So Moncler, Daniel Arsham, Matty boy from Chrome Hearts. And he loves all of this stuff. Like I've seen the I've seen the Chrome Hearts, like balaclavas that he's made, like the full ones, like. So those are my three. Elmo, he's just my guy from young. I like Elmo, man, he's funny, man. We need, we need funny people in life. Elmo, my G, love you. Let's go. Some stickers, love stickers. Let's see what this is. Feels like a hoodie, maybe trousers. Ooh, Casablanca. Yeah, love Casablanca. Sick, sick brand. Beautiful. All white. Biblical. And the tracksuit. It's the full tracksuit. Love it. There you go. Casablanca's had a sick rise, man. Like, I think they're so sick. Yeah, this is definitely cold. My heat box. Extra large gang. Oh! What's this? A million dollars in cash? Oh! So they gifted me a blow up mattress. Oh, jacket. Canada Goose. Cheese. Oh, that is hard. How did you know? I think I was the first UK rapper to actually put everyone on Canada Goose, surely. I was wearing a Canada Goose in my, in my music video and throughout like the start of my career um, from 2017. And back then, no one knew what Canada Goose was. I'll be honest, I went to like Amsterdam in Europe and I saw people wearing it and I was like, yo, that jacket's cold. So you gotta give it to like people in Holland, like they know about good jackets. This is amazing. Thank you guys. <laughs> I actually needed a jacket, but this jacket is so sick, like. Skiing down Chancery Lane. <laughs> Skiing down Oxford Street. <laughs> Right, fit check, top, our legacy, jumper from Palm Angels, jeans, Mike and Mary, shoes, Louis Vuitton, socks, Kif, boxers, Supreme, bracelet, Chrome Hearts, watch Rolex with a mint face, mask, priceless, boom, bow. Mm.